Hi, my name is Andrew Gunn and welcome to 3ds Max Modeling for Games. Okay, this is the first video tutorial to accompany the book and I'll be showing you how to create the cardboard box, map it and apply the textures. I'm assuming you've already set up Max um, as instructed in the first couple of pages of the book. So we'll start towards the end of page two with the creation process. Okay, so let's go to create standard primitives box. We want to left click, drag, release, drag, left click again to create the box. Let's set the dimensions of the box here. From the book is 45 centimeters. I'm using tab to jump to the next dimension. 45 tab, 50 return. Okay, that's the box created. Let's have a look at what we've got. If you can't see the box clearly in all your viewports, um, if you've got wireframe on, just right click the viewport click F3 to toggle. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do is apply mapping. Let's go to modify and apply UVW map from our modify list. If you followed the book so far, you'll have already set up set these buttons up. Um, if you've not, go back to the start of the chapter and catch up and we'll see you back here in a sec. Okay, we need to add a modifier and we want to make it a box mapping. That will apply mapping to all of the faces of the box. That's the whole of the modeling and mapping now complete. So let's collapse the stack to tidy up. Collapse all, we don't want to keep any of the stack. So we'll click yes. And there's the modeling done. Next part of the build is to apply the materials. So let's open up the material editor. You can do this from the top menu or by clicking M. Now, the standard material we've got is a standard. Um, let's change this to a multi-sub multi -sub object to accommodate the six texture maps that I've already created for you. Um, we want to discard the old material. If you keep it by accident, don't worry about it because we're going to swap them all out anyway. Now you can see in our multi-sub we've got ten sub-materials. As we only need six, we can either set the number to six or we can just add the texture maps to the top six. Either way doesn't matter. So let's go to the first material. Now to apply the texture maps we want to add the texture in the blin basic parameters. So click to add the bitmap, browse to your DVD that accompanies the book and for the first one we want to be loading up box one underscore top. This is the first texture we'll be adding, um, which will be for the top of the box. Let's assign the material to selection and let's show the material in the viewport. Be very, very careful not to forget to assign or view. Um, if you have any problems with viewing any of the textures, it's normally um, a mistake in this step. Um, you'll get into the habit soon enough, but make sure you load the texture, then assign it, then make sure you can view it. Okay, that's the first texture map on. Okay, with our first materials um, sorted out, let's move on to assigning the textures for the other five faces. Now, there are two ways of doing this. The first way is to go, go to parent, go to parent, click on the next material in the list and assign it that way or if we go back to where we were, go to parent, then go forward to sibling, it takes us to the second material and we can apply the next bitmap. So let's go through and pick out the textures for the other five faces. Now for ID material, ID two, it's we're gonna need to load box one side one. So let's get that off the disk. Now we wanna be going through in order and assigning the rest of the textures. So for ID3, it's box one side two. For ID4, box one side three. ID5, box one side four and finally 
for the last one, ID6. We want the texture box one underscore base. Okay, now we've picked all of the texture maps, we need to move on to assigning them to the correct faces. Okay, now we've got um, all the texture maps uh, loaded up into the material editor. We need to have a look through and assign the correct IDs to the faces because when we constructed the box, um, it was given a default set of IDs, and now we want to make sure that the IDs match up with the textures that we've just loaded in. This is really important because on this particular mo bo model some of the texture maps wrap around the sides like the packaging tape goes from the bottom of the box up onto the sides so we're going to need all them to match up properly. So first of all we'll go through and we'll assign the correct IDs. Okay so with the box already selected we want to go into modify make sure we've got an editable mesh and click on polygon or face. Now we've got the first face uh, which is the top of the box selected. We need to make sure that this is ID number one so we scroll down to the surface properties and in material it says set ID to one so in this case this is correct. So we just need to move on to assigning the next ID. So if you select the face on the left side in the perspective view, um, you'll see that this one's set to ID 3. We actually need it set into 4, so we'll just go in there and change that. Okay, so now we've got the second ID set. Um, if your texture map isn't orientated the right way, um, just because of the way that the default mapping was set up when we created the box, we need to go to Unwrap UVW Edit. And then we need to click the second texture down. Um, if you drag select all, then you'll be able to just rotate and set the texture the right, right way around. If you click on A for angle snap, that'll help you with 10 degree increments. So that'll help to map the box easier. And um, once you've got that set, um, we can close that down um, go back. You can apply an edit, an edit mesh or collapse, collapse the stack and select the next face. Okay, for the, for the next face we want to be setting this ID to 3. So again, we need to scroll down. This one doesn't have an ID set. Type 3, click return and we've got the second one applied. This one is the right orientation you can see the this way up signs clearly on it so then we just need to rotate our cardboard box around and pick the other IDs now so we'll do that click rotate 